Yes everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel for another video. Today it's going to be episode number 8 on the Atletico Madrid career mode. And before this, I, I did the episode number 7, right? And maybe it's going to get audio muted because I had uh, the music in the background. Which I realized 8 minutes into this episode, so I had to just redo this one. Which is kind of like frustrating because I was like 8 minutes in, you know, I was talking and talking and talking and talking about stuff. And I think, I can't remember everything, but this video is going to, it's going to just be simulating all the games. Yeah, we need to get into that one, that part, because you haven't seen that part, right? So where is that part? Calendar. Today, I am only going to uh, simulate, because we got Sociedad, we, we have Hataf at home, we have Ibra at away, we have... Iran at home, and we have Las Palmas at home, and so said under cup. And I don't really bother about the cup. I don't really care to be honest. And then the last episode, if the audio got muted, we what we did we what did we do there? Mm, yeah. So we started off with playing against Sporting, one one a, a draw on simulating. Then we played Levante one, and Real Valladolid one. Uh, draw against Sociedad, Sociedad, one against Betis, one against Chelsea, one against Alaves, and one against Espanyol. And we only played one game, and that was against Espanyol, so I'm very happy with that outcome right there. And we're going to simulate all these games today, so there's a lot of simulating going on. And the reason for that is, if you look at February to start off with, we have Valencia, I'm going to play that game, it's too risky to simulate it. We have Tottenham. Which is a very tough draw, I'd say. I mean, I need to play both of those games in the Champions Cup. We have Atletico Bilbao. I'm not going to simulate that one. We have Sevilla and Malaga away, right? And then in March, Laganas, I'm probably going to simulate, to be honest. Uh, and then we have Barcelona away. There's no way I'm simulating that game. Then we have Spurs again. Then we have Celta, Week, Celta Vigo and Villarreal. And then Real Madrid comes on. So it's a very tight schedule. I'm going to play a lot of games and, you know... There's also going to be other Champions Cup game if we go go through from the game, the what's it called, yeah, yeah. If we beat Tottenham, to be, to be honest, like there's going to be quarterfinals, semifinals, and of course the final. Hopefully, we can go through to the final, win it all. That is the the target. And then also, where we ended off last episode was risk of losing two players, and. As I said before I started over, Moya is not it's not very important to keep. I'd say we get the we get the salary, I mean, back from him, right? You know what I'm saying? The the wage salary to use on another play, maybe another, you know, another signing. And I also found out that uh, Diego Jota, I mean, I think his name is Diego, right? Yeah, no, Diogo Jota. I actually see see it up there. And he's twenty one years old and it's eighty rated. It's gone plus two this season and a very like, I'm looking forward to getting back this player because he could be a very good player in uh, when we get him back, right? And, of course, Nicolas Chia Chiapacase is a phenomenal player as well. So I like him as well. Uh, I could also see the this financial, like the salaries uh, and how long they have on their contract. So Seoul is 8 years and 7 months, so we were no risk of losing him in, in case, I mean, when it comes to the contract ending. But I think a lot of players do want to buy him. But that's a good case because, I mean, in this case, when they see he has an eight-year contract, you know, they are going to have to put a high bid. But what we did here from the beginning was to actually contract negotiation with, uh, with Fernando Torres. And that is what we are going to do tonight. I've already done this part. But then I realized, you know, I had audio, I mean, the FIFA audio in the background. So I had to, had to do this all over again. So, um, squad roll. I'd say rotation of this one, because before he actually said it was going to be one to be a rotational player. So I think that should work, shouldn't it? Yeah, exactly. Uh, he, he's going to rotate, you know, he's going to play in the Champions Cup, he's going to play in the League, he's going to play in the Cup, you know, if we go through, but he's going to start on the bench, not in the, like, the Cup, if we go through from the Champ, no, what's it called, the, the Copa del Rey Cup, or whatever you call, they call it, 
and then two years because he's 33 it will be 30, 35 maybe give him a one year extension of that just to be on the bench just to chill with the team and he's current which 68,000 so I think they want to raise that a little uh, why would you ever want that? No way, man. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Seven? No, that's not what you want. I want to keep him in the club because he's, you know, he's just a... I just want to keep him in the club, you know. He's been a, he's been great. So, the wage is 79. Um, the signing bonus... Five appearances make that 10. And... Yeah, we can, we can make this one happen if you want to. Six, nine. That's crazy. Uh, whatever. Torres, you're robbing me right here. You're robbing the club, mate. Uh, but, you know, I'm very bad at this, you know. This talk with Torres, you know, I, I, want, I don't want to lose him as a player, right? When I have him in the squad, and he will get his salary. And both parts are happy, I'd say. Mm, yes. So, we're seven minutes in to the episode already. I think last time I was like nine minutes in or something. And ex this exact thing happened before a big event. Uh, for, uh, what's it called? I, I got an offer from Tottenham, I think, uh, regarding Philip Luis for a fee of 20, uh, 27 million. And I didn't even know it. So now they have regret to inform me that to retract our offer for Philip Luis because we have received a response in a timely manner. We have thus decided to stop pursuing our interest in Philip Lewis. You can consider this negotiation to be over. Regards to Tottenham Hotspur Chief Exec... What's it called? Executive? So I had no idea about this, actually. So I'm very sorry for to Tottenham, but, you know, it doesn't matter because I want to still have Philip Lewis in the team, you know? And so I have him in the team because he's a good player. He's 84 rated still, and he can provide on the left back and also on the left mid if... Uh, if needed, because I, I like the three three at the back that I played in the last in the last game against Espanyol when I changed for the four three two one to the three four one two. Let's say with Griezmann as a cam and Carrasco and Marshall as strikers, and I think Thomas Party on right mid. So what I'm looking for today is a striker. Should I swap maybe Carrasco? What's going to happen in this episode? It, there's so many. Like, if I swap Carrasco, who should I swap him with? You know, it's going to be a big talent. Uh, Mbappe, I mean, he's just gone through to... I think it's alone as well, so that's that's not going to happen. Well, well, that's not going to happen. Torres is... No, 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 no. Reject offer, thank you. Um, Torres is not going for sale. Uh, Vitolo has... Returned from Las Palmas to us. And he's a left mid. And he's an 83 rated. He's 83 rated as well, I think. So, I think that's very good. Jose Jimenez. I mean, I'm turning down every offer here. But 27 million, I'm not even going to negotiate because he's 84 rated. And now it's time for the second squad to play. And it's going to be Vitolo. He's, he's going to play for... If he's back, he's back. So Vitolo is going to play this game. Absolutely. Shea Picasso, you can chill, man. And there's no stress with you. You will have your time later to shine. Fernando Torres will play instead of Obama. So we still have a pretty decent team. We have Nangolan. We have Fernandez. We have... Uh, who else is in on, me, on the mid midfield? Vieto, right? So Tachi is going to play on Gonzalez. Party will stay. And also uh, Savage will stay on the field. So, I think this one is a double leg. So, first we start off away and then we will continue at home. They have a pretty... I think this is the first team, to be honest with you. Jose, Janosai, Yeramendi, 
<laughs> the video with moisture is absolutely fantastic if you haven't watched it you know it's just uh, it's just great and uh, it's 1-1 party scored the equalizer fernandez has got a red card so he won't be able to play the next game racket stewie is stewie i think I, I probably pronounced that very wrong but he i think he's a center back from Shakhtar who maybe has gone there in real life or maybe they signed him And a good thing now is that we are actually first in the league and Real Madrid has um, has lost a game or maybe draw a game. I can't really, I don't really know. But it's very good that that's happened so we can keep our, uh, keep our first spot. Um, what? Both Raja and, and Sol is injured. What is going on? Can we total play as center mid? No, we cannot. But you will have to. You will have to play as center mid, man. Uh, okay. Kaya, Kayu Enrique is going to play for us in this game. And he's a 69 rated cam. And it would be very good if he could just close the game with a goal. So I'd make a good substitution, substitution into this one. Oh, that's hurt, you know, been both Nangle and then, uh, Fernandez is gone. Carrasco has gone on and scored one zero against Getafe. Antun is going to get a yellow card. Griezmann has scored a second one on the penalty. And that should be at 4-0. And Griezmann has scored a hat-trick. So he turned up to be very good in this game. And now it's the second game against Real Sociedad. We need to just put on some training for party marshal. I think it's Chiapacasi as well, Hernandez and Werner. Uh, I'm going to change players very soon because Chiapacasi and Werner are not very like, they're not going to play in the near future as well. Um, so I think Nad Nangolan is back in the team. and I'm go But I'm going to keep the Tolo uh, as a center mid. Just try him out there. Hernan Fernandez will sit in the next league game but however it's not the league game it is indeed Real Sociedad and if we win this one with 1-0 one I think we are through and it's so hard to talk when this when this background noise uh, voice is, is you know the guys talking oh we have go oh this is very interesting this is indeed very interesting we have got an offer from England I think it did take it now have I got some of England before? I can't really remember, but I'm going to take this one. So, now I'm a national manager as well for England. And I'm looking forward to it because it's 2018. So, this summer, the World Cup will take place. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Now, we just need to get the win. And both teams have scored on a penalty. If we get one, there will be an overtime. But if Real Sociedad scores one... Unfortunately, our journey will end. And what is going on? Is the referee on some kind of... I don't even know because he's... Uh, that's just insane. Three penalties in one game. I mean, it's kind of a hard decision to make, I think. I don't know what kind of war was going out there, but that was crazy. 14 goals by Griezmann. He's been catching up on his team at Anthony Marshall. I mean... As I said earlier, I don't really care about the cup. You know, it's going, it's very unfortunate for the players who's not going to start in the Champions Cup and stuff like that. But you know, we're out in that cup, and it it kind of sucks. But at the same time, don't really care. It's just the league and the Champions Cup that are, are really important. So soon, I think we should get a bid on some player. Maybe I will go out there and hunt for a player and do some kind of swap. I mean, the total we could easily swap him for a center mid or something out there. Hmm. Griezmann scores. He's 15th, I think. Bebe scored. Bebe, wasn't he like a big, big talent? I think he played for like Manchester United back in... Oh, there is no way. There is no way I've been talking like, yeah, we're going to simulate all these games so it's very easy, you know, blah, 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 blah. I was thinking getting... I said, though, I don't know if it was in this recording or the last one where I had all the audio that I was going to take 10 out of 12, right? And I think... We can still do that, uh, but we're going to do a little bit of a training session with other players. So the passing with Griezmann, pass the goal, very easy, just standard. And then also with Anthony March, 
get some dribbling. I know it's very good at it. I'm just choosing something really quickly here. Mm, what else? Raja is gonna try some shooting from distance. Um, is there a just a shot power basically? And then uh, Hernandez as well. Defending injuries, it's hard, but you know you can just keep it up, man. And then also uh, on Carrasco dribbling scenarios. I mean Carrasco's very talented. 86 rated and he's funny, like 23, right? Um uh, so yeah, Carrasco. Very nice. Could be very like he's been very good at this season, but you know, later on could be even more important. So I think uh, Real Madrid will go in front of us, unfortunately. We'll just have to wait and see. Maybe like the game that they're after will we'll, we'll play at another time. So now I need to check the office and actually go on the transfer market to make something here happen here. There's so this guy he never stops talking. It's like me, but if you can hear him, you know in the background he's just talking about every fixture that that has ever been. Um, I I couldn't I didn't see a transfer offer for any player, right? So I don't think there has been one. So what are we looking for? Um. Let's just say De Bruyne, like, why not? He's 90 rated, that would be insane signing right there, shouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Kevin De Bruyne. I don't know what, I'm just trying. Well, he is a midfielder. What? He is a midfielder? What are you talking about? Oh no, no! Oh, this one is quite interesting. What would you say about Koke? In... I mean, they surely want like 100 million for Koke. What is going on? Wait. Plus cash? No, 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 no. Chill, 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 dude. <laughs> Wait, did I only? No, 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 no I didn't. Excuse me, but they do not think that I'm going to involve Koke and then give them a hunt. Uh, no, I am, I am, I am thinking wrong, right? I am not. No, 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 no. I did not get it at all. Was Koki still in the deal and they still wanted 104? I, I knew I was gonna lose that like negotiation for De Bruyne. Just wanted to check it out how how like how far out I was, but that was insane. That was too much money. Uh, like, I don't even know. Uh, N'Golo Kante maybe instead of Koki and then 20 million because I, I need like a center defense mid just to. I mean, a new, new sign for, for the players, I mean, for the fans. Player swap, midfielders, Koki. There you go. What do you say? And I'm missing 36 million on, on the transfer button. Uh, yo, so that's not going to happen as well. I just need to check it out, you know, to, to see... To see like where we are at, so we are missing on like for the big signings, we're missing on a lot of a lot of cash. I have one more 
to try with. I have one more player to try out with. And then if this not work, if this doesn't work, and I'm done. Not not going to chase anything else. Shortly in transfer. Up. I think this might go through actually. And where do I go now? Right, uh, transfer. Up. And then we go to Raheem Sterling. And then we approach to buy him. So I think this this one. This one might happen. He's he's um, it's Guardiola back in business. So, but you only want a midfielder, right? A right winger, like yeah, of course, of course, sir. But he, he can play as a right mid as well. well. You saw that when I pressed, he's like, could you can play a center mid? So that's that's not. Yeah, Juan Moreno. You want Moreno? You, you can have it. <laughs> you can actually not. No, you cannot, man. Come on. Um, what is going on? No, no, listen. I just want to... Uh... No, but I want to change players. Uh, I can't do that. Okay. Just. Just. <sighs> well, that's not going to happen. Propose new transfer offer. Can I not? Like. No, I can't. Okay. Uh, I go. Once again. End negotiations. So, that's very unfortunate. I'm just going to not, not make any more more deals right now i think we need to get in a couple more uh more money and what's left no I'm running out of contract uh yeah everton can have him i mean maybe i could have sold him but you know no that's not going to happen should i approach 20 million uh no should i approach leroy sonny as a last player, because they told me if I if they wanted to set, to have if they, they said if we wanted to have Sterling, they wanted another right wing, right? But if I buy Sane, don't that mean that they want another left? Yep. I probably say it does. So is he is eighty four rated as well, and he's only twenty two years old. But I think this this one. If I could trade Vitolo and 40 million or whatever it, whatever it is, like, is Pep Guardiola staying on, like, another hotel or is this happening, like, at the same time? I think it's it. I think it's on the same time. So, I'm, go I'm going to play swap and the wingers and then Vitolo. This should, this should be cool. And also the 90 million. Or is it... How much do you want? There you go. And I, I can't afford it. No, <laughs> but can we like just chill? I need to, I need to, um, I need to talk with the board, but that's not going to happen, is it? Um, wasn't that like just that? <laughs> what? So we got him? Wait, we're... What, what is going on? So we can negotiate... With what is going on? Can we actually negotiate with him now, or or no? I think we can negotiate with him, but I need to sell a player. I think for where where can I sell players? Am I am I dumb? That this is search players. Like where do we, oh I actually go into my squad like and yeah yeah the squad hub right 
and to like sell someone to get sal the salary, don't I? Um, so Savage should we should add him to the transfer list. So maybe it's gonna get sold, and maybe we can get Sane in a swap deal for for Bitolo. Uh, so this this is insane. This has been a very crazy episode. Oh, Twenty five minutes. It's, it feels like it's only been like ten minutes, or maybe even so. You know, it, it's been a fun episode to do um, and make. So uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, where did that go? Can I negotiate? Do we be? Do we? Do we? What's going on? Like my my accent changes every se every like single second. Um, no, we don't have the financial financial meal meal uh, the, the means to pull this off. So that's what I'm saying. We need to sell something ASAP. So what is that? What do we need to sell? Like Savage? Does no one want Savage? I mean, it's a good center back. Uh, Fernandez, transfer list. Uh, okay, I'm not making a lot of players happy right now. I just I can't feel it. I can't feel it. Vieto, transfer list, and also Korea, transfer list. Come on now. Surely this should be like Bayer Leverkusen or something. I don't know. Like anything. Hertha, uh, Everton, uh, West Ham, something. 3 1 against. Uh, Against get on. Okay, I mean the the games itself are not very important. It's not. They're just not at the moment. That's not what we need to focus on. Now. So what do those results mean to the league table? That's a lot for Hugo Mayo. You see a big big talent. You see. Uh no. I mean oh that's a great offer. I mean we could probably get more from it. Okay, we're gonna get a lot more from it according to his market value should be okay. That's that's a lot. I did not think that. Uh, but no, reject. His salary income for the team, you know, if you sold them, should bring Sonny to the team, but that's just not worth it. It's just not. I see that I can have a training session done for five players, but... Yes, 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 Lazio, go on, go on. You do not, you do not reject this offer, Fernandez, because we, we want... Sane in this team. We want him in our team. Can we still negotiate or is has it been like too too long now? No, 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 dude. But we did not have the money for it. Twenty five million for Vieto is like twenty. It's twenty four. I mean, yeah, I'm fine with that. But you need you need. You just have to have the patience, Sane. Are we done now? Can, can I? Can I never? I'm just gonna worst transfer market ever. Like for real, worst tra transfer mar transfer market ever. Three one, another win. You know, can't complain again uh, about the games in general. I mean, we get knocked out. I know, but it's been success in it. And another training session is going to be done. Uh, Oh, this is just so unfortunate to to lose Son. I was really pumped to get that player in the team. Um, but no, it's not going to happen, unfortunately. We sold a lot of players. I mean, two, I think, both Vieto and Fernandos. But yeah, that's it. So, I am going into the next episode. I am going to show you the last 10 hours because we are going to sign a player. And that's just how it is. And I need to figure out who. So... This episode has been 29 minutes. I think I, I don't even need to edit anything because I've just talked through it all. Uh, it's been 29 minutes long. If you watch this at all, I mean, I'm super proud. I'm super proud. And if you watch, like, you know, skip through, I'm still very happy if you if you just got, like, a hang of what's going on. It's not very hard. I'm, I've been choking on transfers all episode. We've been simulating games. It's gone pretty good. We got 10 out of 12 points, I think, from the league. We're still top one. Real Madrid has one game less played, I think, as well. But if you enjoyed it, give it a like. If you are not a subscriber and you enjoy the content, give it a like as well. And